Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today I will be teaching a very important topic that is immunology. So let's start with the definition of immunity. See, immunity is the overall ability of the host, that is humans, in this case, to fight the disease causing organism, which is also known as pathogen. So it is overall ability of the host to fight the disease causing organism or pathogen. So see the pathogen can be bacteria, virus or protozoan. It tries to enter the human body. So it has to confront two type of immunities. First one it has to confront is the innate immunity. And the second one which it has to confront is the adaptive immunity. So now let's differentiate between innate and adaptive immunity. See the innate, inna innate immunity is the non-specific type of immunity. Whereas adaptive is specific. What, what do you mean by this is that in innate immunity, the response is same for each and every type of pathogen. Whereas in adaptive immunity, there is formation of specific antibodies for specific antigens. So the innate immunity is present at birth, whereas adaptive immunity is acquired after birth. It can be acquired by two means and that is passive immunity and active immunity the innate immunity has no memory so the response when the pathogen attacks for the first time and the second time is almost same by innate immunity whereas adaptive immunity keeps memory cells so that the response second response is a faster response the innate immunity is rapidly acting that is as soon as the pathogen enters the innate immunity starts to act whereas adaptive immunity is slow because it takes time to form the antibodies and specific cells get activated so now let's see the same concept in the graph now the green line is innate immunity whereas the blue line is the adaptive immunity so as you can see when there is the first exposure to the antigen or the pathogen the innate immunity is fast to act whereas the adaptive immunity is slow to act whereas when there is the second exposure both the immunities act on the same time but there is a massive response from the adaptive immunity whereas the response is same as the first by the innate immunity so this is also known as primary response and this is known as the secondary response now let's talk about the components of innate immunity innate immunity consists of four type of uh, barriers that is physical barrier physiological barriers cellular barriers and cytokines the physical barrier consists of skin and mucous membrane these stop the pathogen from entering into the body and then coming to physiological barriers that is acid saliva bile and sebum what they do is that they kill the pathogen on the surface of the body so that it doesn't enter into the body alive now coming to the cellular barriers it consists of neutrophils monocytes which are the leukocytes and then macrophages nk cells and complements we'll talk about this in detail in the next slide and the last type is cytokines which is interferon these are produced by virally infected cells so that it prevents the further propagation of viral cells and neutralizes it now let's let's talk about the cellular barriers so the cellular barriers are first cellular barriers neutrophils they are the most abundant in the body leukocytes in the body and they have a multi lobed nucleus and a granular cytoplasm so they are also known as granulocytes they are phagocytic in nature that is they eat the pathogen and digest it then coming to the monocytes 
monocytes are the largest leukocytes they have the clear cytoplasm and large nucleus so it looks like this almost this is the nucleus of the monocyte and they are also known as a granulocytes because their cytoplasm is clear these are also phagocytic in nature and besides that they convert into macrophages that is they mature into macrophages which are also phagocytic in nature and also they are known as antigen presenting cells so these cells what they do is they digest the bacteria and then they present the antigen to t cell so the t cell will further take the action and help in help b cell in production of antibodies so that the acquired immunity can come into response now coming to nk cells these are the type of lymphocytes so they have three mechanism of actions to kill the pathogen so they are firstly phagocytic and then they produce porphyrins porphyrins is what they do is that make they make pores in the pathogen cell wall and then what happens is finally they release some enzymes in the cell which causes the cytolysis of the cell and they also cause apoptosis so apoptosis is the natural cell death so that's why they are also known as natural killer cells that is nk cells now coming to complements see the complement is group of 20 proteins which are present in the serum that is the blood and once they get activated they form the membrane attack complex which attacks the plasma membrane of the pathogen and then when they attack the pathogen they break the cell wall by the mac that is membrane attack complex and then due to osmosis there is cell death now coming to acquired immunity there are two types of acquired immunity that is uh, cell mediated and humoral immunity the cell mediated immunity consists of t cells which which mature into three types that is cytotoxic helper and memory t cells whereas humoral immunity consists of b cells or b lymphocytes which mature into two types that is memory b cells and plasma cells so in cell mediated immunity what happens that when they mature into cytotoxic t cells they kill the pathogen directly by various mechanisms whereas the helper t cells they help in activation of b cells and memory b t cells and memory b cells both help in keeping the memory of pathogen so that they can give a good secondary response when they are exposed to the pathogen for the second time and then when the b cells mature into plasma cells they help in production of antibodies now let's summarize the acquired immunity so what happens that the pathogen enters the body and then it is engulfed by the macrophage which acts as the antigen presenting cell and presents the antigen to t cell so what happens the t cell can mature into cytotoxic t cell or t helper cell so cytotoxic t cells will directly kill the pathogen by various mechanisms whereas t helper cell will activate b cells with the help of cytokines so these b cells will finally mature into plasma cells to produce antibodies which will then go and attack the pathogen so that's all for today friends hope you like the video please like and subscribe and comment down below